Hi there, my name is Mercer. I'm the Sales Social Media and Production Coordinator, and today we are going to talk about the pests that bug us the most. So if you find an oval-shaped insect covered by waxy white cotton-like filaments, it's most likely a BB bug. You can find these in different parts of the plant. These common pests are typically found at stem nodes, leaf axles, and along the veins on the underside of leaves, but you may also find them in the root system of the plants. Spot treat visible bugs with a Q-tip or a cotton pad wiped down in alcohol. Then spray all the foliage down with a neem oil solution or insecticidal soap. Examine plants weekly for traces of root infestation. There are other oval-shaped pests as well. If you find an oval-shaped pest kind of with a shell covering, that's most likely a mature scale. These are super common and every plant is vulnerable to this pest. Mainly found on leaf veins or along plant stems, a mature scale's body is going to have to be manually picked off because most solutions won't actually penetrate the shell. These common and easy to notice pets are actually microscopic. Spider mites are super common and are usually a circle shaped and are yellow to red in color. These mostly congregate on new growth in the underside of leaves, accompanied by a silky webbing and grayish stippling on the foliage. Boosting humidity can help ward off these guys as they thrive in hot, dry air. Use an insecticide that lists spider mites on the label as a target pest and spray down the plant. Retreat after three days and again in 10 days. Alternate insecticides if infestation persists. Along with the oh so common spider mite, we have the fungus gnat, which is a small like fly with long legs and very delicate wings. These weak flyers are commonly found around the growing season during favorable conditions flying around the soil. Larvae, however, feed on organic matter within the soil. There are many ways to get rid of them, but the use of yellow sticky traps helps to capture adult gnats. Incorporating diatomaceous earth as well as mosquito bits into the soil can help eradicate the larvae as well as repotting the plant in new soil. Now that we've covered ovals, webs, and wings, we're going to cover slime. Slugs are one to three inch long mollusks and nocturnal feeders varying in color from gray to brown, leaving slimy trails on their paths. While they're not as common, they do appear from time to time while ragged holes are on the leaves. They hide under planters and are found in the soil during the day, but at night they can be found on foliage while they're feeding. You can try leaching the soil if they are dwelling there at night. Otherwise, there are slug pellets and traps on the market that can be used if an infestation arises. We hope this helps and never be afraid to DM us or go to the still.com slash contact to contact our customer happiness team and make sure to click plant care. Happy Halloween.